Hey guys, look what we're doing today. We're at Leon County um, Waste Disposal. And that is a huge pile of mulch that's sitting here composting. So that's what we're getting, what we're going to take home today. I'm not going to film long here, but I'll show you the end result when we get home. Well guys, we made it home with our compost. And as you can see, we're right here by the garden. This trailer was filled to the brim. And as you can see, the pile, it was piled up all the way back here. And now it's just a process of getting it into the grow beds. And just to show you a little bit more, this stuff is really nice. You can see, oh, look how crumbly that is. Right now it's starting to dry out a little bit, which is to be expected because it's in the sun right now. But this is all just from um, mulch that the, the county, they actually sieve the smaller pieces out and they put it on piles. And it, I hadn't seen the piles till we actually pulled up to get this load. But um, they probably have about maybe 10 tractor trailer loads of this fine stuff sitting there waiting for somebody to come get it. They are just giving it away. Now they did weigh us in and they weighed us on the back on the way back out and we weighed almost what two thousand pounds more? Pounds. Jim's saying we weighed nineteen hundred pounds more coming out so we got just under 2,000 pounds and it was all totally free. The only thing it cost us was to use gas to get there and get it home. That's it. It was free, guys. Almost 2,000 pounds. And believe me, if I could pay my um, dump truck driver, the guy who delivers our stones, to go get a dump truck full, we would do that. But he won't go into that county. He says the county's really bad for violations whether they're real or not so he just doesn't want to go in the county and I don't blame him and I don't want to do anything like push that because that's his livelihood and this is some of the results so we've got this entire bed I don't know if we have enough what I'm gonna do is go back through and level this out and then maybe put another layer on top yet because this is going to settle down. So if we have a little bit of a, a rise in it, that's not going to hurt anything. And we're all the way down to the, getting to the L of the exterior of the garden wall. And then we also have, let's see if we can get over here. I'm walking tender-footed, people. I'll have to tell you that story. <laughs> I'm always getting hurt here. Alright, this is a half-built garden, but you can see the timber is in the bottom. And then we've filled the top with the compost. So this is almost ready to be planted. I could start growing in this right now, as well as this. And then we got the garden that's almost finished being framed out. I think I need two or three more blocks over here. And you can see we've got this one almost full uh, as well. So I think for my garden goal for 2018 is going to be checked off the list because I got further than I thought I could get. I got three really nice grow beds almost completed. So that's a win for us. That's a huge step forward for the homestead is to have some really good soil to grow in. Now, here's what I don't know. Was there any green material when this was sifted, like leaves and stuff? Does it have any nitrogen in it? It might not. If it does not, it will not grow well. So from here forward, we will be adding rabbit manure. And I'm actually thinking if the goat pens dry out real good, of scraping up the powdered goat manure and adding that to this as well. Plus we will continue composting the goat bedding 
which is full of goat urine and manure and that will get composted and we'll use a lot of that to top these gardens off once we have some composted enough but once the uh, the garden the goat manure compost down enough it's gonna look just like this guys it's gonna be just like this look at that that's what you want I'm not sure about starting seeds in this I might have to actually sieve the finer stuff out and put a layer on top of just the fine stuff so that the seeds can take root without competing with the bigger chunkier pieces which really aren't that bad considering what it is it's mulch that's been composting so we'll see right now I'm in um, recovery mode and I'll explain that in another video alright guys that's the garden update oh you see something's missing all the plants that I was growing in here are gone I came out from one day to the next and I think we have a grasshopper invasion going on because every one of those zucchini plants were decimated from one day to the next gone every bit of green leaf was eaten off even that little zucchinis that were starting were gone totally gone so and it was definitely a bug that did it it was not a deer because of the way the leaves were just full of holes so at that point we already knew we were going to go get a load of this which meant I needed to move these gardens forward in construction and I decided just to pull them and I did I pulled them and they're buried over here and you know once they're that far gone they're just not savable so reality check we might need to find a solution to grasshoppers here because when you walk through this area right here they're they're hopping all over the place they could have helped me with all this green growth around here that would have been a help but they didn't they took out my vegetables <laughs> alright guys that's a garden update and to me this is a huge win for the garden don't forget to like share subscribe and have a blessed day